Welcome down to Hunter Gather Cook Treehouse HQ. Today we are with Tender Stem and we're going to be cooking up some fancy dishes. First dish we're going to be doing is a truffled ballotine of partridge and we've got some fresh truffles right here. So uh, we're going to be making some pom puree mash as well. So, uh, so time to get started. First off, we've just got to take out the breasts from these partridge and take off the legs as well. Start with your knife, just bring it in just along the centre here, right along the breastbone. And then, you can do it with a bigger knife, but I like using a nice little, little opinel. Good little knives, nice and sharp. And then open it up, just gradually take that breast out. So once we've got our breast out, we're just gonna take skin straight off. There's one, and then just take the other one out, and we're prepped. So to put the ballotine together, and bear in mind with a ballotine, you don't have to always use, uh, you don't have to use game. You can use chicken, um, you can use rabbit, which is game as well, um, but uh, you can even use pork, so you don't necessarily have to just use game. First of all, we lay out our cling film. We then take some prosciutto. Then you take your partridge breast. Then we take our brie. We've got a couple of slices of here. We've got our truffle here. To get the best flavor out of a truffle, just take, take a grater and just grate it straight over there. So once we've got all that laid out like that, it's then just a case of tucking it over roll it along like that. Now this is the most important bit with your ballotine, is that once you've done that, grab both the ends and then we just roll. So then what you once you've rolled it and twisted each end, you end up with this nice little sausage. Now what we're going to do with this is this is literally just going to go into hot water or it's just on a gentle simmer for about eight to ten minutes. Just taking out the tender stem here has been blanched for about three or four minutes and then we're just going to stick that on the grill here. So we've parboiled off our potatoes and now what we're going to do is, is put together pom puree. Now this is like heart cloggingly awesome uh, mashed potato basically. So we just loaded them into the ricer and then it's just a case of just mashing those straight through. We take a generous amount of butter, just a couple of nice slivers, we'll just break these up into it. So we're going to head back over to the fire to get that done. So you just take a bit of double cream, don't need milk, but you just take a bit of double cream, add in a bit of that, don't need milk, put that in, add in a bit of that, put a bit of seasoning, put that in, put salt, a bit of pepper, so here's our ballotine, just come out. So we're just going to leave that just to rest for a moment while we sort out the rest of our ingredients. Here's our lovely pom puree. So first off, get a nice big dollop of that. Very pretty. So put that in, rush that down like that. Our ballotine's rested. Now only take it off half the way through. Now the reason for that is because we want the nice neat bits in the middle. Place one there. Third one there. So we've just had our tender stem just grilling on the fire, so then it's just a case of putting these down. And then we've got a few of our wild ingredients. So we've got our sorrel here, which we picked out in the field, it's got a nice lemony flavour to it. Slices of truffle. Of course, you don't have to have truffle with this dish. We've got these lovely marigolds from my garden, so we just take off a few petals. So there we have our lovely pom puree with partridge ballotine, truffle, sorrel and of course lovely tender stem. So dig in. 